Hey guys, and welcome to Star Citizen Tech Tweaks and Apps. Each week we'll be looking at a different piece of software, hardware, peripheral, or tweak that can improve your Star Citizen gameplay experience. So this will be stuff like voice attack, power grid, uh, cryengine console commands, track IR, to name but a few. This week we are looking at the Rock App Power Grid, an app for iOS and Android devices that enables you to bind keys into a nice looking GUI or GUI. It's basically a really nice looking small keyboard. You can pretty much set Power Grid up uh, for any game or any other kind of control device. So you can have it controlling um, your sound on your PC, um, uh, seeing system stats, um, having it as a PDA to, to read emails with, um, setting it up to uh, interact with OBS, um, or just shortcuts and macros. And you can make totally custom key sets and GUIs if you wish. Uh, you can download other people's or you can use the ones that Rockat have provided. So I think this is really invaluable in Star Citizen um, and just for generally recording stuff on my PC. And you can see it does look pretty snazzy when you go into some of the stuff that other people have made. Um, some of them aren't optimised for like my 7 inch tablet, but you can customise this further if you want. You can make the bu uh, buttons smaller, you can move them around, do what you want. It's a very customisable, optimisable, kind of immersive GUI experience. So uh, let me give you an example of what it can do. So with this I can adjust my shields to put them all at the front or all at the back or on one of the sides um, or just equalise them all across the thing. Um, I can then have a quick look at my other systems as well. Um, so some of these GUIs that people will make or if you customise them yourself, you could do it so it would interact with the other menus as well. At the moment I can just select the other menus. This is mainly a shield app for the Hornet. Um, or I can switch over to immediately changing the volume on my PC. Um, or then back to it. it. This is the joy of this power grid system. So I can switch seamlessly between different functions on it without it affecting what's happening on my screen. Um, I can then switch on to this other app to control my ship. Um, or say, if I was in the first person shooter module, someone could make a first person shooter module one. I could then just, as I got out of my ship, switch over to that. Um, I could also switch to another Star Citizen um, power grid and faff around with that. So I could set my weapons to full, um, or I could eject. <laughs> You always be careful of having an eject button, because um, if you accidentally press it, you'd obviously um, regret it almost immediately. But I think this is really, really useful, especially when the Persistent Universe hits. I mean, this is like a an assistant to your Moby Glass, allowing you to interact with your actual PC seamlessly uh, while you're playing in a game. And if you go from being in a ship to then being um, in the first-person shooter, you could have uh, profiles for that there. Uh, you could also have ways of automated, like... Um, well, remote controlling your ship, like, oh, I think someone's boarded my ship, um, I'm going to depressurise the airlocks, boom, at the touch of a button. I really, really like the idea, as well as, like, being able to set it up with a, as a PDA so I can actually do my emails while feeling more in character in my system. Now, obviously, it wouldn't work with a, um, like a Swift or something, so I need to be able to see this, um, but as a streamer and a content creator, this really Im improves my videos. It allows me to interact with the OBS, it allows me to uh, change settings on my computer while I'm in game without having to alt tab, without having to faff around. It's connecting to my PC currently um, via my wireless router. Uh, so it basically you host a session on your main PC um, and then you connect with this app to your PC. Um, I've done that via LAN and it's pretty pretty quick to do its settings. So here's the actual host software. It allows you to basically uh, drag and drop other people's power grids straight from the power grid website um, into here. Um, so I've got the Hornet one and the other Star Citizen one, but also use a multitude of the pre-made ones. Um, and literally anything you change on here and then apply will then be relayed to your tablet. Uh, so you can do all the settings for it on here. I think it is really, really useful. Um, also having the incoming sensor or setting stuff up to um, do your emails, to do your Facebook, to do your RSS feeds, um, that sort of stuff, I think is really, really great. Just for having that functionality while in game without having to alt tab, without having to lose immersion almost. Uh, you can only have four tabs um, that you to switch to at any one time on top of your tablet or smartphone. Um, you can purchase more tabs for 75p, which is just over a dollar. Um, although I haven't actually seen the need to do that. Four is more than enough for me. Um, especially when I get them optimised so they actually do all the functions that I want them to do. Um, there are many, many, many more pr custom pre-programmed settings and GUIs available on the website and for different games um, as well. So check those out, guys. Uh, I'll put all the links uh, of how to get Power Grid uh, and uh, all the different custom settings and stuff that you can get for it in the description below. Uh, the only issue that I've seen, it's not really an issue, is that you have to do, you do have to sign up for uh, the Rock Act website. Uh, so you do need an account on there, but you don't need to 
spending money on there or anything like that. So you do have to have an account though. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope that helps. I hope that was informative. I hope that helps you make use of your tablets uh, or smartphones in Star Citizen. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me. And when I get back next week, we'll have some more Star Citizen tech tweaks and apps.